Alright guys, here we are playing Persona 5 Royal as we are progressing to our stuff. Ay ay ay. Can't go out, but there was something. Yeah, there's this trophy I can do. Now it's the users to need to do hey. what I can do. Um. Well then. Oh. I think this unlocks a trophy. Up. Mm. That should do it for now. Yeah, the black buffer. <laughs> hey. It was a trophy that I was trying to get. Refreshing morning. How are you doing? Uh, I didn't expect the okay. Fenton thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews mm. these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. People change suddenly and cause strange accidents or horrible crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Dick. I'm just letting this on go as own so I can easily do all my stuff. Okay, let's get started. Cool time. <laughs> hmm. How about you? Um. Oh shit. Uh, 
I'm thinking about my phone like legit, like, oh, my phone going off. Oh, wait, it's on my phone. Whoops. His name is Glare. John. What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed? <laughs> Same here. I don't have club practice today. Oh, that reminds automatic. me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Sure. Sure thing. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are. It's been quite a while, Akechi san. <laughs> And the same for you, Yoshizawa-san, right? <laughs> you know each other? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. That's right. He's been offering me guidance lately. A deal, you say? Huh. That's quite the interesting relationship you two have. So, what were you two up to? Oh, nothing. Right. I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before? I was chosen to be our club representative. Damn. Congrats. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. 
Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Man. Your drink is just as hot. <laughs> Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things to catch your <laughs> Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV <sighs> just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. <laughs> you seem to have your own bases covered as well. <sighs> I feel like I do. <laughs> oh, but Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, uh, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. I actually want to try something quickly. Our opinions <clears throat> during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. No, nope, still the bark is still alive. I see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Uh-oh. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population, but I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. See? So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? She's not wrong. Ah, so you think you should let others come to their own conclusions on the matter? Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? I'm more than a fan. <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. I'll be ruining for you. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. <sighs> ah, you're back. I see you had friends over in the study station, huh? How do you know? And by me, I own the place, remember? I could tell what's going on here by just looking at the tables. Ooh. Is that good? Hey! <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Uh, where have you been? Been all along. Okay. Uh, Laura. 
Yes, there we go. Wait, huh? Great, I cannot do anything with that. Where is the guide I needed? I had such a good guide in the past. And I'm just like, God. This is, this looks like the one I had. Huh? Could change some things around. Probably they did. Oh, she wants to study. No. Yes, I have business. Like to read Shut the up. These are the paths you have walked. Okay, um... Star. A fee is required. This is your power. This Not is your already. power. <laughs> what? You don't want It is time, inmate. Okay. How about a match? You perfectly. <sighs> Sorry. Actually, the to it. Until next time. Bring it on. Quiet down. Maybe we should make a fuss even though the live before exams. Uh, we have a school. Uh, wait, what? 
Okay, another one. Do you know the answer? Thievery. This is it. You, you. Correct. It's open. Welcome. Excuse me. It was nothing. No. Good. Uh, yes. I see. No. Ba -da 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 -da. Yes. Let's help you get in. If he wants to be out. Where is he? There, Emperor. Hello. <laughs> Let us be off. Hmm. 
see you. <laughs> I just love this. This is so silly how funny at the same time. She's beat. I have to do the devil persona again. Hey, inmate. Ow, stop kicking my butt. I should write something. Justine, you handle this. You handle this. Ugh. Read here. A fee is then accept. You left done already. What? It is time, inmate. It is time, inmate. I am not going to do exams. No, I'm good. Oh? Sorry. As much as I can to make it just work. Yo. Come on, man. Have exams. 
Is exam. <laughs> okay. Stinker. Raining cats and dogs. Ooh, we can do this. Ooh, we can do this. Everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean that Yoshizawa san? Uh. I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some fr There's something I'd like to discuss. Sure. Thanks. I know- It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take. Okay? Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but they're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. I'm not sure I'm doing this correct. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Um... Uh... Wait, what? Are they disappointed? Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, 
just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. I see. You're approaching reality from a rational point of view. No, it could actually be that you understand reality's unfairness, yet you're willing to stand up to it. That may be the reason you're at this academy now. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need... Hmm... Nothing really comes to... This is just a thought, but... What if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Well, I can't deny that. Plus, it's a bit different from changing our hearts, now that I think... Sorry, I was just think... Oh, I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my... I hope I didn't fuck up again. Very enlightening. And enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> And I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kinda feels like our time's finally here! I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party! I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Oh. I'll just well, guys, this is where I'm gonna end off for today. We'll be back tomorrow with some more uh, Persona 5 Royal Goodiness. We continue where we left off. I wish you all a good day, a good week, and peace, my prayers. Have a nice day. Bye bye.